welcome to the fresh catch of the day, Ready Steady Call. And now, here's your host, Peter Everett. Okay, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back, 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 back. Come on, hold. Double one. Great audience. Thanks, Australia, for joining us. I'm Pete Everett, and welcome to Ready, Steady, Cook. This is where two of Australia's top chefs who are at top of their game create four fantastic knockout dishes in just 20 minutes. Of course, we have the two studio contestants. They'll be joining them here today as well, armed with five of their favourite ingredients. But first, let's meet the chefs, everyone, in the Red Kitchen. Please welcome owner and executive chef of the Zuka Greek and Meze down there in Adelaide. He's tall, he's handsome, he's Talented, get in here, Adam Swanson. Hey, How are you? Very well, Peter. Very well. Hello, Adelaide. And in the green kitchen, executive chef of Maha Bar and Grill, all the way down there in beautiful Melbourne. He's tall and handsome and talented as well. Come on, Shane Delia. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not tall. I'm not tall. You boys know, know each other. Yeah. OK. Now, you've both got big families. We do. Huge families. Mm -hmm. So what would you cook at a family gathering? What do you like to cook? Uh, family gathering, Pete. It's all about, you know, pasta being my side, you know, the Italian, Greek side of things. Start with maybe a plate of pasta, then some lamb, obviously, maybe a nice couple of roast legs of lamb type oh. of thing, and then some dessert. But it's all about all getting together and sitting down and just enjoying, enjoying. it. Enjoying. Yeah, always. Always. It's good food. Yes, it's not just the pre preparation of the food, it's no. the celebration after no, the prep. Exactly That's the great right. thing. Yeah, and you know. Long days. And you have big family I've gatherings. I've got a huge so family. I know about this. Yeah, huge family. My family get together every Sunday, and my dad's got seven ish or eight sisters, and there's 30 odd. Cousins. We all get together every Sunday. Every Sunday? Yeah, yeah, every Sunday. So I try not to do the cooking. The best thing to do is get my aunties to do it. <laughs> you know, so, um, you know, like, but, you know, generally there's Maltese food there. You know, there's um, tampana, ajin, fenix tofa. So, like, all Maltese classics that we grew Beautiful. up with. It's good homely soul yeah, food. Yeah. I'll yeah. have to yeah. make it down there one day. We you, do. Okay. My family's your family, Pete. Oh, <laughs> no. You're our family too out there, everyone. Welcome. Now we need to meet the contestants. Cooking with Adam for the tomato team. Please welcome. Now, she's a small business owner who one day would like to have her own TV cooking show. Yeah. Come on down and tell us about it, Jodie Ann. Yeah. Hello. Jesus. How are you? Hello, lovely to have you here. Good to what? see you. How are you? Oh, oh. great. <laughs> Tell me. Ooh. You look, I like all, you're looking yeah, very colourful. A bit colourful. Look at yeah. this. I love all that. That's a bow some lady. Great hairdresser. Hi, Shane. It's lovely to see you. You too. <laughs> Thank you. Got my eye on you. Jolly girl. So, what have you got in here? <laughs> you're ready for this? Oh, really? We're all ready for Let's you. Let's get pumped. This is going to be ace. <laughs> You're we pumped. have got. I'm pumped. You're Ooh. pumped. Yeah. Baby beetroot. Oh. We have. Oh, here we go. Yellow capsicum. Oh. Lovely. Which I grow these in my backyard. These aren't mine, but no. I, okay. I grow these in my backyard. Um, we have halloumi cheese. Oh. Who better to teach me how to cook halloumi? We're in, we're, how we're good's that? Halloumi king here. <laughs> <laughs> and I've forgotten the name of this thing. Ooh, it is. It's is called that, a. It's not a grapefruit, is no, it? No, it's no, not. No. It's a big citrus kind of. It's grapefruit like something. Thing. Pomelo. A pomelo. Oh. That's what it is. I think I, I saw these in Thailand. Yeah, recently. they call it like the king of citrus. So yeah. it's. I reckon that's going to be awesome as well. And what's the other? <sighs> pork. Pork. Australian oh, yeah. pork. We love that. We oh, love pork. Enough, you little piglets. We love pork. Back to your pens. All right. All oinking in the audience. This is going to be fabulous. All right, nice. then. Well, he's, he's fantastic. He's terrific. And Very he's going to show you a lot. Is there anything here that uh, you'd like to learn how to cook? Halloumi. Halloumi. Yeah. There you go. Absolutely. He'll take that on Very in his recipes. Excited. Very excited. Who will be that. brought in to play with? I have my beautiful, dearest best friend of 25 years, Narelle Moore. Oh, so that's me, Jodie Ann's best friend of 25 years. She's an advertising consultant who likes to unwind by taking aerobic and boxing classes. Narelle, Come on down! And work it, and work it, and work it, and work it, and work it. Hello, you. Welcome. It's lovely to have you, you here. Hi. You are very thank fit, you. aren't you? I better well, watch out. thank you. I would have met my match. That's good. Well, that's it. And you know the lovely man over uh, here, Mr Adam. Good luck. Oh, you're going to need it. Good luck. That's fighting spirit. We like that. 
So, do you, you cook well? You love to cook? No. 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 Oh, you know? No. no. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do what I can to help you. That's fine. Um, yeah, I'm here for... You can chop and animals. things, can't you? And oh, I can chop, support. and I'm good with a mortar and pestle. Oh, great. That's it. That's what, we'll just do mortar and pestle dishes. Fantastic. <laughs> fine. It's all right. Done, done. We're all here Easy. to learn, my darling. That's what it's about. In okay. you go. Have a little look in your bag. Well, I'll start with the cherries. Oh. My cherries. goodness, they must Shaking be the first it. of the season. They're delicious. They look lovely, don't they? They Gorgeous. look real. <laughs> They're real. They're real. Yeah. <laughs> A Savoy cabage. Oh. Cabage. Cabage. Your cabage. She's so international. Red radishes. Oh. Yep. They're great. They're, 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 they're good. <laughs> there are lots of colour here. Chicken Supremes. Back to your pens, chickens. Back to Leonard's chickens. Off your pop. Off your How pop. do they get out? <laughs> and some macaroni. Oh, macaroni. delicious San Remo. We love a bit of San Remo. Gosh, we've got it all here today. Well, you got, uh, you're got you going to be the teacher. Absolutely I'll be the, the teacher. teacher to so all of us I'm today. I'm a good student. Especially I've got a Narelle. lovely dish with the macaroni for you already. I think you could win this, you know. I don't know if Narelle's that confident. Narelle? She, she's going to give it a go, I know that. Yes. You, you are. I'd like to she's be building that's by good. the minute. I'm minutes. giving the confidence, I'm <laughs> sensing that. All Most right, fire ahead with your, your recipes here, kids. All right, so we're going to do... Uh, Jodie Ann really wants to know how to cook the halloumi, so we're going to start off with a simple mazer dish of the grilled halloumi, tomato and mint salsa. Really nice and refreshing. Beautiful. Then we're going to take one of these beautiful pork fillets and we're going to crust it with fennel and uh, medallions, so just nice little pieces on a pomelo, orange and herbs right. underneath. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Really nice flavours. Then we're going to take another one of the pork fillets, char it, whole, and then we're going to uh, boil off these baby beets, bang them in the oven, melt some halloumi over it, and then slice the pork fillet over the top. Beautiful. Oh, really nice. Are you yeah, using nice. the beetroot leaves at all? We might be, yeah, yeah. Because you can, you know. You can, fantastic leaves. And then we're going to do a really simple beetroot, halloumi, and caramelised pomelo salad. <sighs> pomelo salad. Yeah, Your mouth's nice. watering, isn't it? It is a little, actually. Yeah. How did you know that? No, I can tell. <laughs> Any more? Right. That's it, Pete. Oh, I'll just walk over more. here. Yeah. That's the way the show works. <laughs> OK. Tell okay. us all, kids. All right, Peter. We're going to do a dish that's going to make my mum proud. We, we used to have this dish. It's a, it's a, it's a, a pasta, pea and poached egg soup. Yep. The Maltese, Maltese is called totlia, but... Totlia. Mum's going to be very happy. Uh, so we'll do that with that. We're going to make some juene, so some grilled Lebanese chicken wings with garlic and, and, and yogurt and a little radish salad. Juene. Juene. Uh, Learning lots of words on I'll this get, show, yeah, aren't we? I've got, got one more word for you. What's this one? It's malfouf. Malfouf. It's not a swear word. No, it All isn't. So we're going to make um, chicken malfouf. So it's, um, uh, it's, it's basically parcels of, of, of cabbage with uh, chicken and rice inside. We're going to roll it up, poach oh, it. I like and then, that. Yeah, it's beautiful. Roll it and fold it. Uh, rolled it and fold it. Um, and we're going to make a, a pistachio and cherry martini oh. with um, rose water Special. cream. You're happy. <laughs> Sounds delicious. Rose we all get one of those. Cream. Maybe we'll all get one of those kids. But before we can even start the show, we have to say those magic words, don't we? And you at home join in, if you wish. Ready, steady, cook, great. Wonderful audience. This is what the chefs and their contestants will be cooking today. Firstly, Adam and the lovely Jody Ann over there will be cooking the grilled halloumi with mint and tomato salsa, the fennel crusted medallions on uh, pomelo and orange and herbs, and also the char grilled pork with halloumi and beetroot bake, and beetroot halloumi and caramelised pomelo salad. Now, for Shane and uh, Narelle on the capsicum side, they'll be cooking the pea and pasta soup, the juene with radish salad, and the chicken and melfouf, and cherry and pistachio martini. Did I say that right? You did, you said it right. My goodness, I'm learning. So you're it's learning. Extraordinary. You're learning. See, we're Pete. all learning together here. It's, it's very good, this it's show. It's taken us a whole season, but you're. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's only <laughs> taken me five years. So now, what are we starting with? So I'm going to clean up my chicken. So we're doing two dishes with the chicken. Yep. We're doing the juene, which is the wings. Lovely. Um, and we're going to make the breast into the malfouf. Beautiful. So, um, That's lovely, those little Leonard's. We're going to be learning more about this dish when we come back after the break. Stay tuned, and thanks so much for being with us today on Ready, Steady, Cool. Good to have you.
everyone. Welcome back to Ready, Steady, Cook. Trust you're having a great day, and thanks for joining us again. Now, we've just started uh, the cooking segment, so you haven't missed too much if you're just tuning in. No, we haven't. So we're just starting Got off the with... the mould and salt thrown on Yeah, there. one of the pork fillets that we're going to grill up, Pete. Lovely. So, uh, bit of pro, Chef, yeah, you've bit... got it all happening. We've got it all here, Peter. So what you want to do is just basically just oil it a little bit. We'll get some fresh oregano onto there, the real Greek thing with the pork. Did you know that in Greece, there is not much lamb? Really? It's all pork. It's all pork. They say it's... But what, they say it's lamb, but it's actually pork? No, no, it's pork, Pete. That's the, they don't, you will not find many places in Greece with lamb. It's all pork. Oh. Yeah, it is. It's a big thing. Why? Is it because... Because the actual animals not a lot can't... Of land yeah, they can't survive over there, Pete. That's living and all that type of thing. I was just looking at on camera. If you couldn't afford a bouquet if you're a bride, that'd look quite nice. Look. What are you doing to them? Quite pretty, wouldn't I'm worried you? About you could eat it after. Don't go near a goat. Give it a go, Pete. <laughs> so, anyway... Where does it come from? It's disturbing. But yes, anyway... It is. Um, <laughs> so, hot pan. Really hot. Get nice that out, hot. get it in. Get those beautiful Simple lines in there. Now, you are so dedicated. You and the Miss Norell have been trying to come into this show for two years. Is yep. that right? Yes, we have. Tell us your story today. You left at, like, 1 o'clock in the morning. You drove. No, we did catch a plane. Yeah, but you came from the country in Victoria. Yep, yep, yep. Um, I'm actually from a little town called Turumbri, which is about 200 Hello. people. Hi to everyone in Trumbry. this woman. Which is just out of Echuca, which is about 14,000 people. So it was about right. three hours' drive down to Melbourne on the plane up here. Stayed last night and we're heading back tonight. So, Great. Yeah. Now, do you do a lot of cooking? Obviously, you must. I spend Mondays um, at home cooking for the week. I yep. love cooking. Yep. Um, hence, very passionate about my Hence food. wanting to have your own cooking show. Who told you? I know a lot about that is... you, Jodie Ann. <laughs> Jodie yeah. Ann reports from the country. Maybe from the country you could do sort of fresh produce. It's a little bit Jamie Oliverish. Well, that's exactly the But you could the be whole... the Australian Jodie Ann. Yeah. I want to uh, promote, like, champagne food on a beer budget. You can yeah. eat fantastic food that you cook yourself and not have to spend that much money. Yes. And that's what I do. Like, we're not rolling yeah. in money or anything just because no. we've got a business. So No, um, it's a lot of hard work, a lot of responsibility, is, big risk having your own is. business. And people love to eat good food. And yeah. it's, these guys, you know, hand exactly. over someone some good food. It's not easy food. having your own business, no, is it? It's not. a lot of hard it's a great, work. It's a great admire hard that. So, yeah. Very good girl. Yeah, Better cool. keep going. Now, we've got the pork on we've here. We've got both lots of pork crusted. on. Yeah, the fennel crust on it. Yep. So, I just basically just back shut down. Yep. Just sealing it off, right? Mm -hmm. Then we're going to cut them up into the medallions. So, medallions is like a centimetre and a half little nice pieces. Very nice. And you've used what here? The, just the beetroot? That's the beetroot. So, I've just basically taken the actual meat, as they say, from the leaf, yep. cut the bottom of it. Just going to boil them off. When they're tender, we're going to peel them when they're hot. Then we're going to add just a little bit of orange juice. So what happens when they're hot, it sucks in all that orange flavour. Very nice. In the oven, halloumi over oh. the top. Oh, and then bake uncle. it after we've cooked. Yes, Pete. Now, these, I know I'm harping on about using it, but I, I had it not so long ago when I was in Italy. They chopped this up, yes. stir fry it with yes. just salt, pepper, olive Garlic. oil, and fresh parmesan cheese. Yes, 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 yes. It is so delicious, seriously. It is so, so delicious. You want us to give it a go later, Pete? Well, yeah, well, let's not, we won't throw this away, right. will we? No, no we will not. Hello. 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 That looks beautiful. Look at that savoy, the colour of that. So that's our um, savoy. We've got it in some salted water. We're just boiling that to make the leaves a little bit tender. They're very pretty. We've, while you were away, we've made the stuffing for the mouthful. So we've got our... Um, mouthful meaning... It's basically a stuffed, like a, a, a stuffed parcel of cabbage. Normally ah. we fill it with rice and meat and it's braised. So we're doing a quick, a quick version. Hello. Hello. You little pit girl. I'm, You're pitting yes, well it's... here. So do you love to cook? Well, not particularly. Not really. you told I like me that. to share the cooking in so our So who household. does it? Who does it in your home? My partner Trevor. He's, yep. he's Hello, Trevor. Is Hello, he with Trev. us? Uh, no, not today. Where he's is at he? Work. In Melbourne. Back in Pakenham. Yes. Pakenham. Hello. Hello. You didn't say hello. Give a little one. Hello. With my blood what is red yes, hands. With the blood red hand <laughs> gouging here. Uh, uh, and no. I, um, and I also have a, a German housemate here as well oh. who's been staying with us for a while, off and on. And he uh, he's quite good at a curry and things like that. So Terrific. We so all they just, save we you all these just men. just have a go. They do. You do other good, you other well, things. Well, that's right. That's Absolutely. So what is, the, what is the partner Trevor Cook? Oh, he does a very good roast. I love a good roast. So do I. Can't so do it. I. He does a nice slow roast. Yep. And yep. he also likes to get out with the Weber. Oh, and yes. The, the Men the love the barbecue, don't they? they They're do. in control and they they're behind do, that they weather. Do. 
The they Weber's, are loving it. Weber's great. Yeah. Open coals, good smoky oh, flavour. And it's not just good for the meat. You can do all sorts of other things in the Weber as well. Yeah, I believe you Fantastic. can cook desserts and everything yeah. in it, can't well, you? Well, if you're really good, you can. That's not, it. Not get out me. of my league. <laughs> <laughs> well, we should take cooking classes, you and I. <laughs> So what, a, what about, what do you do in Melbourne? Where do you work? Um, I work for Star News Group. It's a local newspaper in okay. Pakenham. Yeah. I sell advertising to real estate agents down Is that there. What, how's the business going? Oh, well, you know, as well as we can sort of expect in the current climate. Everything seems kind of buoyant, really, doesn't it? In You've real got estate, it's keep extraordinary. Keep a positive attitude about everything and everything always goes well, That's doesn't it? That's it. Maintain a positive attitude. <laughs> yes. That's it. It's so, That's so well. important. It is important. You can't allow yourself to get to become too negative about anything. Thing. No, you can't. So we're making our little mulfulfa rolls. Yep. So I've got that uh, cabbage which we've cooked and I've dried off. Uh, put a little bit of salt and pepper on there. So we're actually going to wrap these up and then bake, cook them. Yeah, in, I'm going to cook them a little bit more like to try to make the uh, cabbage Is a little bit more a tender. Katuf or kat? What does Manu call this? I wonder. Do you, would you know, Adam? Where, where you do that in a little... No, no there's there's not, I don't think no, there's really a French name for it. Yeah, we're not into... Yeah. Oh, I think this is just I a... I can't a, think of what he... A boudin? Does he boudin? make a boudin? A boudin? When he makes a sausage? I think it yeah. might be boudin. When he makes a little sausage in there? Yeah. And he's famous for his little fish boudin. Yes. Little, yeah, he oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Is that his signature? That's his signature. Under ten minutes. Are you actually going to use this now? We're going to use it for you, Pete. Oh, I'm going to use it. All right. So All we've right. got to keep that in. And halloumi we love. Do you know where it's from? Is it goat, cow? I reckon this one here. What does it say? It's going to be sheep sometimes. It's sheep, This I is think. a product of Cypriot, so Cyp Cyprus. Oh, I'd be sheep. Yeah, sheep, Pete. Halloumi is sheep, do you think? Uh, yeah, sheep. I think it's sheep's milk, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Sheep's milk. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a milk of some kind. <laughs> Could be sheep or goat, perhaps. All right. Yeah. Lots of goats in this studio today. Beautiful. Hey, do Here you we like go. halloumi? Uh, the witch? Do you like halloumi? Too? I love halloumi. And what's the other cheese that I love? Ba Saganagi. Shbainit. Shbainit. Shbainit, the Maltese cheese. Oh, Maltese. Yeah, See, it's Maltese. terrific. You Try that one. It's very good. Yep. Well, we haven't got very long before we played up here, kids. So stick around. Stay tuned. Great to have you with us today. See you soon. Get cooking and chop chop. Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to Ready, Steady, Cook. Thanks for being with us. So what's going on here? Um, I'm just squeezing the lemon juice and I'm going to finish segmenting that orange in a couple of seconds. Terrific. We've got the herbs all ready to go for a little herb salad mm -hmm. over there. Beautiful. Look at yep. this. That's really lovely. It Have smells a look at that. good too. That smells great. Now, the other thing, you live in the, in the country, but yep. when you go to the coast, you love to fish. Tell us what you use as bait. I have never <laughs> heard of this before in my That's life. That's a serious secret. And you it's not on the coast. We, I live on the Murray River, so it's oh. all river fishing. Oh. Yeah, so my husband and I have got a little boat. The secret, please don't tell everybody. Um, you're not going to believe it, I don't reckon. It's bigger cheese blocks. Bigger cheese. Bigger cheese blocks. Have you ever heard of on that? On your hook. In... They love it, do like, they? I am telling you. They love the dairy. They and snap like they... Bite. There you go. Get your block of bigger out. Bigger cheese. Up to the, uh, I don't know how to work in the ocean, on it, but I it, wonder, that's but on, fishing. But the river fish love it. Yep. There you go. Cheese. Proven product. <laughs> All right. Hello. Hello, Pete. So now we're going to look at our beetroots. Hopefully uh, we're getting somewhere with them. So so do you want to? Are you using some? this? I oh, will. You, I'll cut some oh, no. off. Oh, can I that's cut a little bit of that? I just want to try it. Perfect, Pete. So we're going to take our beets. Hopefully they're nice and cooked. They're almost there. All right, then. Get them in the oven, Peter. You're not listening to me, I am. Oh, that's beautiful. Nice. That's quite sweet. Try the halloumi, just like this, Pete. Oh, you know no, I've tried... Try it, just like oh. that. It's really nice. So, try it's this. like you're mozzarella cheese. Yeah. Yeah. Really try I'm sure you're cheese. familiar with it. It's very good. Yeah, you try grill. raw this. Yeah, grill it. Try raw first. Wow. No, no, it's, it's, it's fantastic. No, it's beautiful. We're just going to get that in a real hot pan, Pete. No flour on the halloumi, so good straight for celiacs. Mm. A little bit of oil. Yeah, olive oil, just straight into there. Probably got a little bit too much in there, but we'll be all right. That's all right. We're under five minutes to go. Oh, oh my goodness. Righto. Oh, not what long. Fantastic. Keep going not long at all. How's this going? Mm, it's good. Just it's like, working. Just got like the a San mama, Remo. Just like a mama used to make her. Mama maker. 
So um, we've got our stock. We've got some chicken stock in here. We've got a little bit of curry powder, yep. onions, uh, peas, parsley, and the pasta. Right. It's a really Maltese thing. It's not. I've, I've never seen it anywhere else. That gets boiled up. It makes a really nice. When you put peas and curry together, the flavour's beautiful. We I do a, yeah, I can't imagine. And we put a little um, egg egg poach, and once you break that egg yolk through it, it really enriches the, the soup. It's is really that's tasty. That's in a stock, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's Another in chicken stock. We use some stock. of our Campbell's stock. Yeah. Okay, all right. And it's called again? Totlia. Totlia. It's, well, go. when we were kids, we used to go to the football on the weekend. When we used to come back, my dad was starving, and this would be the dish that mum makes for him. So, What's his name, your father? Uh, Ted. Ted? Ted. 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 Well, it, well it's, it's Judas Tadeus. Oh. But in Australia, we say Ted. Ted, Totleria ready? Hello, Ted. <laughs> there we go. So these, these are the these cooked. Yeah, they're cooked. They're ready to go. We're just going to open them up and have a look. They have to be a bit delicate. Beautiful. Now, you had a life-changing experience, didn't you? I did. Tell us about it. Uh, back in December, Yep. I, um, I used to be short-sighted, so I needed glasses to be able to drive and watch television and, you know, look at menus and all that sort of thing. I had my eyes lasered. Lasered. And it changed your life. It's incredible how much vision is important to us. And yes. You don't realise until you've got this amazing vision that... Just, the gift is given I'm back. I'm constantly challenging myself to really? see... Really? Yeah. Is that oh, good? Oh, can I see that? Can I read that? I love it. It's great. You look very, very happy. You celebrate life, you do, I can tell. You both, you girls, you're very up and very positive, aren't you? Try to be. No, Absolutely. it's good. It's wonderful. Thank you. Good you spirits. Like you did, oh, I try. <laughs> We fight on. That's right. That's it. So we got a little bit of salad. Look, doesn't it? That does look pretty, audience, doesn't it? Do you think oh, that's good? Great. It's not finished yet, Peter. It will look great. It is very healthy, all this. It'll be. Oh, it's very so healthy. So this is the little egg. So this poached egg then just goes in there yeah, at the end. We're just going to poach an egg. So we've got some water and vinegar. Um, the vinegar helps the egg to coagulate and keep it together. Yep. Um, we're just going to get that just before it boils. Yes, not too boiling because yep. it'll all separate, won't it? And we're going to make, yeah, like a little bit of a, uh, a whirly thing in the middle there. That's going to help the egg to spin around and stay nice and round. Oh, so stir the water just yep. a little. And then just as it's stirring, you drop your egg in and that's going to oh, see you're how right, it's moving. It holds the yeah. yeah, it keeps in place. And we're going to... Oh, you clever thing. Two minutes, everybody. Okay. Yep. Here's your uh, beetroot meats and the stalks that you, you're Do you know about. we've got parmesan in there? Do you want to grab some do you and want say something for yeah. me? Isn't he a good help, Oh, God, oh, yeah. I'm a great help. See, it's not true what they say about you. You're not a bad bloke. I'm not that white. What did she say? <laughs> No, oh, it's not true. You're no, beautiful. well, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a lot better cooked than I used to be. Yeah, well, and it's yeah. knowing your ingredients and having them in your pantry is the Eat big it. thing. Don't yeah. touch that. Hot you. pan. Hot pan. We're, Always. We're, tea towel. Anything yeah. out of the oven. We tea and towel. leave it. We could leave it over there we just could, to show yeah. people. We'll just leave That's it there. It. Now, do you we want to grate that, that yep. my darling? Yep. Um, here's the grater. Right down here. Oh, gosh, you know more about this kitchen than me. I've watched um, enough of the show. <laughs> where do you want that grater? Do you want that grater? Just Eatable. over the top of it, Pete. Yeah, maybe. Oh, where are we doing? Oh, here, look. Some shavings would be nice, Peter. Just a shaving. Shavings. How I do need you shave? A, well, you with get a the veggie peeler. Peel. Peel. Shave. Peel. Crack and just, uh, with a peeler. Over. With a peeler. Do you know you got the shaver? She knows what she's doing, Pete. There's a veggie peeler. Is the yeah. shaver? Yeah. And then I've just, just bring it up the here. Yeah. Jody. Veggie I'll just, peeler? I'll bring it over there. Got the veggie peel, I'll no, let you find it. No, I don't. It. All right, just under Still a minute good. to go. No worries. So slowly plating up. That looks good, doesn't Bellumi, it? Bellumi, really simple. Good, just, you you know, it just browns up nicely. I know, it's very good, audience. Now, I don't want to know what's happening with all these cherries. We haven't really spoken about all the cherries. We're doing our little cherry and pistachio martini. So we're going to put, put Ma it Martini. I expect, yeah. so I expected a drink. Am I getting well, a drink? It's, it's going in the glass. That's a martini glass. Oh, it's going in a martini it's like, glass. So it's that's... like when you cook oh. a tagine. It's called a tagine because of the tagine. Oh, not okay. because of what's inside. Well, 30 seconds. So what's this you're making up? Uh, rose water cream. Rose water, rose water what? Oh, in yogurt? No, not. Yeah, rose water in yeah, yogurt. Yeah, it's going to be beautiful. Trust me. Trust me. I trust you. What's that, molasses? A bit of pomegranate molasses. Pomegranate molasses. Yeah. Very good for you. Pomegranate's great for the men for the prostate, of course. Let's do that. That's proven. So have a bit of, or you need a lot of prostate, a, a lot of pomegranate juice. It's very good for you. Great job, audience. Now, this is what our chefs and their assistants started with for Adam and Jody Ann on the tomato side. They started with the pork fillet, the yellow capsicum, the baby beetroot, halloumi cheese and pomelo. And on the capsicum yeah, side, Shane and Narelle started with the chicken supremes, the macaroni, the red radish, the savoy cabbage and those delicious cherries.
Looks good, doesn't it? It's it real looks good, Pete. Delicious. Oh, you both for it. Yes. Are you going to have some? Oh, no, special. I'll watch you eat. So really simple, okay. this uh, halloumi. Just grilled it with a tomato, mint salsa on tight, little lemon juice. Oh, oh, God. Really good. nice. Yeah, that it's, it's is spectacular. Really good, extra olive oil on there. Then we're mm. going to go over to the uh, pork crusted with the fennel. So the pork fillet there with the orange oh. and uh, pomelo and herb salad. So the really simple flavours there. Good nice family cook. together, the orange and the pomelo. That's yeah, yeah, really yeah, lovely in a fantastic. salad with pork. Mm -mm. Then we're going to jump onto here, the other char grilled pork fillet with a baked baby beetroot. Come around beetroots. this way, come yeah, around come here. Around you can play with us around right. here. Pull it in a little bit. So we've got the, the halloumi's just melted over the beetroots and oh, infusing yum. the flavour. The beautiful pork fillet. You know, pork is such an underrated oh. meat. It's fantastic meat. Oh, she likes that one. one. That is so juicy. I thought that was good. That is awesome. Uh -huh. So then we've got our caramelised... Uh, look at the colours here. This is it? really nice colours here, Pete. So what I've done with the capsicum too, I just quickly sliced it and pickled it a little bit in a white balsamic mm -hmm. just to give it that acidity a little bit more. Beautiful. The beetroots, the fresh uh, halloumi in there. And Pete, that's your little dish there. So we've got the stalks of the uh, <laughs> beet tree. Look at that. Olive Doesn't oil, that look salt, good? Salt, pepper, garlic, and parmesan there. So it's a oh, nice accompaniment like to all these dishes. Yeah. And you could also, when you grate the parmesan, yes. you can also grill that through. If you'd like to melt it through melt and it toss through it, a yeah, bit. why not? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you're into that, why not, Pete? Winner. That's what you think. Is that it? Is that you see? That's you're it. very confident. What are you going to call it, you confident couple? The win we will steal with our pork and halloumi meal. Oh, we'll see. <laughs> Not to take away from this winning team as well. Very good outcome. Looks fantastic.